Hello. Before I begin, I just want you to know that this audio is not for the traders or the people who buy and sell stocks based on short term positions like one month, two month or six month. What I am going to say will be more helpful to the investor and by investor I mean someone who is at least concerned about holding his stocks for for a period of one year or more right now we are in 2020 so what I am going to say is about this current year and the upcoming year which is 2021 you see for an investor for a serious investor he should always be well known he should be well informed about the future because his whole investment is in the future the interest which you are going to generate the profit which you are going to generate is all dependent on your ability of forecasting the future or predicting the future so what I am going to do here in this tape is not something like Nostradamus I am not going to predict something I am not acting as, a, as an astrologer or some fortune teller what I am going to say will be more of educational guesses not a prediction not an advice or anything but just some educational guesses which I feel might happen in the next year which is 2021 so right now there have been reports by experts by by health organizations and even by our Indian government some claim that the COVID-19 vaccine will be available by the year of 2021 or somewhere near ending of 2020 somewhere in November or December but making that vaccine available to all will take time I also read one report which claimed that making available the vaccine to all globally can even take 2024 that is 2024 which is around three year to four year time frame so even if we get that vaccine by the end of November or December we won't all be free to roam around or to go through our daily tasks like the pre-covid period we won't be that free because we would have vaccine technically but we won't have it in our hand because it will take lots of time lots of finance money distribution chains all that will need time and money and then that vaccine will reach you so some are saying it will take 
थ्री ईयर्स सम आर सेंग टू ईयर्स सम आर सेंग वन ईयर सो मिनिमम इफ वी कंक्लूड दैन एटलीस्ट टिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी ऑल हैव टू लिव अंडर रेस्ट्रिक्शंस वी ऑल हैव टू लिव विद द फियर ऑफ कोरोना वायरस नाउ दिस वायरस दिस पैंडमिक has brought changes in the way we live in the way we express in the way we entertain ourselves in the way we earn and lots of many other ways our whole lifestyle has changed and all these changes have contributed to our changes in our financial life we have started spending money differently and for the successful investor he should be well informed and should have a keen outlook on the spending of the consumer because the direction of spending decides the direction of the successful investor invest in the companies where the consumer is spending money divest in the companies where the consumer is not spending money it is as simple as that now if we assume that by 2021 we'll have to live with the pandemic then the same spending habits are expected to continue and right now how are people spending their money first of all we all are spending our money on the internet it is one of the basic need of a man in 21st century internet is a must and so companies like idea airtel vodafone jio are expected to generate money in this period now we all know that airtel and idea vodafone have some financial constraints going on but this is like a golden period for them this time is like a savior for them the time where majority of the companies are struggling in this time these companies are the ones who are getting the most benefit so the telecom companies right now are well positioned now that does not mean that you invest in them blindly we all have to take an outlook on the financial position on the balance sheet on the revenue now there are lots of aspect when we when we talk about an individual company but right now in this tape i am going to talk about the outlook of the industries so what i mean by idea vodafone and airtel and jio is that the telecom industry is well positioned now then it depends on you whether you invest in individual companies there or you don't and this is going to be applicable to all the future industries which i i am going to talk about telecom industry right now is positioned perfectly this is a golden period for them second we have the banks banks again 
are in the middle stage it's not a golden period for them neither is it a dark phase for them there are certain things which are favorable for the banks right now and certain things which are negative for the banks right now favorable things is the cost of employees the cost of rent most banks have taken advantage of the technology and have initiated the process of allowing the workers to work from home so this is going to save some of their cost some of the cost in their daily operations second with the use of technology and the current scenario about the stock market banks right now are able to sell third party products and that is at ease they do not have to employ any sales team or some external department to work on it people are buying insurance and due to the popularity of the stock market during the lockdown the ipos the investment activities and the mutual funds all are indirectly affecting the banks in a positive way of course so the sales of third party products is increasing for the banks negative thing is the loan in the lockdown the salary of people is reduced many of them are even unemployed so some people who were able to pay their their debt on time to pay their debt or emi on time those people are suddenly unable to pay their dues to the bank so this increases the possibility of npas occurring in future also people are unemployed they do not have jobs many of their businesses are not working so for banks it is also getting difficult to distribute loans if they give loans just to increase the loan book then they are increasing the chances of npa so overall banks are not in a good position nor a bad position next we have our the entertainment industry the tourism industry the motor industry or the vehicle industry these three are the most affected industries in the world not only in india but in the world by entertainment i just mean the theater companies the cinema companies production companies you see there are many countries which have opened theater for general public to watch movies but the crowd is not willing to enter as it was willing before the covid period so the theaters are open but the public is not there so even after a government slowly and steadily when it starts opening the theaters even after that very few people would be willing to risk their lives and enter the cinema hall so till 2021 the theater business 
is expected to suffer and this is the minimum period which i am talking we do not know for sure when we all have the vaccine but based on our first assumption that is by 2021 if we will get a vaccine then till 2021 the theater businesses are expected to suffer many of the theaters already have debt on their balance sheet and with zero revenue and with certain fixed cost they are bound to make losses and they are bound to skip their debts if they don't have any cash at their balance sheet so if you have investments in such companies production or cinema companies then it is better that you exit at exit at the proper price next we have the tourism companies it also includes the airline company it also includes hotels it also includes food chains it also includes the travel agent companies like thomas cook and all so by 2021 these companies are also expected to suffer loss most of them will have zero revenue with certain fixed cost that is net loss and again if they don't have any cash in hand then they are bound to take debt which is a bad sign in the long run so it is better that you avoid tourism companies but we have indian railways that is irctc it is a monopoly company so individually if i am to talk about irctc then i would say buy it if it falls below a certain price it is a great company it has bright future there is nothing negative about this company except for this current situation it is an exceptional company which anyone with common sense can recognize its potential for the next 10 20 or 30 years so as far as irctc is concerned in the tourism sector in the travel sector then it it turns out to be an exception you don't have to sell it you can at most buy more if you want next we have is the motor companies the industry motor industry and everything related to motor industry which is auto ancillaries brakes and all so again we have two years current year 2020 and the next year 2021 you see right now people don't even have enough income to support their livelihood majority of the population right now is struggling to earn their bread their daily bread so in this case travel and the vehicles whatever be it is kind of a luxury right now cars is already a luxury in india it is not a need unlike america so the sales of cars is expected to stay down till 2021 based on our first assumption don't forget this 
all my guesses are based on the first assumption that covid-19 vaccine will be available after 2021 on that assumption we are making all these guesses so the car companies are expected to suffer for the next two years the current year and the next one year so perhaps by 2022 situation may recover but till then there is no chance for mid motor companies to generate enough profit to sustain their business in a proper way same applies to the ancillary companies the brake companies the steel companies and other similar companies which are linked to the motors or vehicles now we have the next company that is pharma pharma industry which right now is in a sweet spot because of covid-19 the sales of hygiene products the sales of health products is at peak due to covid-19 so if you are willing to invest just for a time frame of the next one or two years then you can focus on these companies on pharma companies but only for the short period of time and also there are many problems or drawbacks associated with this transaction because not all pharma companies are at a fair value not all pharma companies are making money not all pharma companies have better sales so overall the industry is positioned in a sweet spot but only some or few companies are taking that major chunk of that benefit so you have to look into that in detail but yes pharma industry as a whole is in a great position so there could be opportunities for you if you are looking forward for the next one or two years next we have the paint industry that is asian paint berger nerolec and so on you see all these companies are dependent on the real estate industry so overall real estate market overall in india it is in in a difficult times the construction workers are not there the prices of raw material has increased so no raw material and no worker all this and plus no demand all these three factors combined are bringing the real estate sector down and if the real estate sector as a whole is down then anything dependent on it will also be down so as far as the upcoming two years are concerned based on our first assumption it is better that you stay away from the paint or chemical sector because it is indirectly dependent on the real estate sector next we have is the retail sector you see retail is one of the safest and the best sector to invest at any times that is the fmcg sector 
it includes dmart it includes hindustan unilever it includes png it includes varun beverages and many such companies whatever is re related to retail or fmcg goods edible or non edible the companies belonging to this sector produce essential goods so whether there is pandemic whether there is war whether there is an earthquake or tsunami no matter what people are going to need those products and whoever supplies those products is going to win so fmcg sector is something in which you can invest at all times sooner the better again there will be many companies there so you will have to look about the valuation about the pricing and about the debt and all all that research needs to be done by you overall i am just giving you a site i am just giving you a point of view where you could find opportunities and where you should look for for potential investments next we have is the tech industry the software industry we have infosys we have happiest mind we have tcs we have mindtree and many search companies so again tech company is in one of the most favorable spot in the past which has never happened in the past this is the best time for you to invest in the tech industry the tech right now is helping the banks it is helping the food chains it is helping reform our education system it is helping reform our travel system our communication system it is helping the way we entertain ourselves more and more softwares are being developed more and more apps more and more technological inventions are being made be it in hardware or software so overall whatever is related to technology and wherever there is potential which can be improvised by technology all that is giving you an opportunity to invest so tech industry right now should be on your radar when investing so i think we have covered majority of them we have covered banks we have covered technology we have covered travel tourism we have covered retail we have covered motor vehicle and then there comes the industry which is called as the primary industry or the mining industry or the production industry you see companies like ongc coal india tata steel all the companies which are engaged in production or extraction of raw material again they are in a negative spot we have seen that oil prices are down people the government is looking for alternative sources of energy we do not know whether we are going to use solar or wind energy but there are some moves we are also looking for lng as an alternative fuel in vehicles so lots of things are going on right now there but that is a very heavy industry it requires huge cash and it cannot function without debt that is the major problem so 
the size of that company or the size of that whole industry is actually making us difficult to invest in that sector because overall it is pretty uncertain and on top of that it is all too valuable or too pricey it is very difficult right now for us to evaluate the whole industry all the raw material making industry like steel or oil or whatever so i would rather say stay away it is not possible for me right now to exactly say what and where will that industry go in the next one or two years it is pretty complicated right now so it is not easy just like i made assumptions or guesses about the previous industries it is not like that so anything about which you don't know you should rather stay silent and if you know then individually you people can look into that and you can make your own guesses and you can make your own investments based upon your calculations so i think this was it i think i have covered it all and hopefully i have helped you on focusing your attention on the potential opportunities and also hopefully i have helped you on finding out the negative industries or the not so good industries from the point of view of the next two years so that's it thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next audio tape if you have any questions if you have any queries or if you have your own opinion then you can add it in the comments and i will make sure to reply it and that's it thank you for listening